yesterday was good. Tiring as hell, man. After I wrapped up with you guys, I laid down in bed for a minute and woke up like four hours later and I was like, wow. Um, and then, I mean, I didn't sleep much when we flew down the night before. Um, I think I slept for maybe four hours, something like that. And then, um, you know, and then you're flying and you're, you're sleeping, but you're not really sleeping much. And then, you know, typically we like to check in, come back to the room, grab a nap, and then go out. And because the room wasn't ready, we went out and walked and walked and walked and walked. And I think we were out for five, six hours until we finally got our room. And then by the time we came back, I was just tired. Um, so I laid down, took a nap, and I was like out. And then I woke up. I was in a daze. <laughs> <laughs> went down to uh went down and got something to drink and you know and a snack and then I came back and I was just like I'm ready for bed I don't want to you know I watch a couple videos on YouTube um Josh Thomas bit block I watched his 3DS thing and I watched a couple PewDiePie videos and then I went to bed and um so now, I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Tony's still sleeping. Um, she'll sleep for another hour, and then I got to wake her up and get her going because we go to uh, Hollywood Studios, um, and then we go to Epcot later for dinner. Um, basically, this is like a ritual I do every day. I get up 5, 6 in the morning, quiet, nobody's around. I take my mug, I go down to the food court, I take my 3DS, um, and I play Animal Crossing. Um, at least that's what I did the last time, which was three years ago. I don't know what I'll play this time, but I play video games. I might play some SteamWorld Heist. Um, but I play video games, and then I play for about an hour, and then I'll come back to the room. Um, so much so last year, or the last time I was here two years ago, Three years ago, whatever. I can't remember how long ago it was. Um, the last time I was here, the woman actually came up to me on the last day, and she's like, "You are you leaving today?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "It's gonna be it's gonna be different not seeing you here every morning." And I was like, "It's only been a week, woman." But I like it. I like to just you know get in there before the kids get in, and it gets all rowdy. And it's funny because the minute the kids come in, you know they're there because it's loud. So then I just get up and come back to the room or whatever. So I don't even need an alarm clock. I kind of know what time it is down there. So I'm going to get my cup, and we're going to head on over to the uh, food court. Get something to drink. So get some coffee. That's what I need. I need coffee. It's too early in the morning for this nonsense. So I got my mug. I just want to wash it out. I had soda in it last night. So I'll wash it out. We'll go down to the, uh, down to the food court. So I'll be back. Stupid. Trying to be quiet because of the rooms, but let's try this again. The, um, back in the elevator. So, the thing is with these bracelets now, they're kind of cool. I don't wear stuff on my wrist though all the time, so it's a little off for me. But I like it because it's your key. If you put your money on there, it'll be your money, like your, your credit card, your room key, your dining plan. It, you just, boom, done. It's nice. They used to give us your room key, your room key did all that stuff. And um, now it's not like that. Now it's now it's the bracelet, which is cool. I like it. It's different, you know what I mean? So um, the music here is top quality. But let me show you something here. This is kind of cool because at night, um, a couple nights a week, if you can see like down here where these two lights are, they put out like a a screen and they'll show like movies and stuff. It's kind of neat. It's really kind of cool. We got our own pool here, our own like exclusive pool that you have to have a actually have to have a room key to get into. They don't just let anybody go into it. So that's nice. Um, so what else? The monorail runs through the contemporary. A lot of people know that, but some people don't. It actually goes through the building, but doesn't start until a certain time. Um, 
so later I'll get some footage. Might have been in yesterday's footage. I think I had one where you won't go down, but I'll get from some from inside. It's kind of cool. Um, all right, I'm gonna get my coffee, and I'll be back in a few. So I got my coffee, and the coworker was here. Well, one of the, not coworker. One of the workers were here, and she cook, and we got talking. Really nice lady. Yeah, you know, the, the people here are so nice all the time, and. Uh, you know, we're just talking, and man, it really makes your day bright, you know, and she's laughing, she's joking, she's, you know, in a great mood, you know, and it's, it's infectious, really, but I, the one thing I said to her, I said, you know, all the fighting and the arguing going on in the country right now, they should let Disney just take the country over, <laughs> because you come here, and it's a different world, man, everybody's happy, smiling, you know, like, it may even be, like, a fake front, maybe it is, I don't know, but, like, they're just nice. They're really just nice to you. And they don't know the word no. Everything's helping each other and stuff. So really awesome. But I want to just show you my my view of the of where I'm at right now, okay? Well, I sit here every morning and you look, there's nobody here. That's where I get my coffee out over there. And you know, just there's nobody here. There's a couple over there drinking coffee. But it's it's nice. There's nobody here. So I love it. Every day. So every day I do this and I enjoy it. It's just it's quiet. I got my 3DS. I just sit here. I chill out, do my thing, drink my coffee, and that's it. So. So we're at Hollywood Studios, and we got a couple of fast passes. I don't know. Well, we got uh, some Little Mermaid show, <laughs> and then we got whatever, and then we got uh, Toy Story Mania, which is the one that I love. I love that ride. So we're gonna enjoy the day. It's nice out. It was crowded back there, but as soon as you come out here, it's not that crowded, which is different. I like that. Um, they changed this. There used to be like a gigantic Mickey hat, sorcerer cap here. That's gone since the last time we've been here. But I like it now because you have the, the Chinese theater up there, which is kind of cool. Um, it's different. I'll show you. Yeah, see? No more Mickey hat. It's just a Chinese theater. So, um, where do you want to go? I don't know. We'll go someplace. I gotta go see this stupid Little Mermaid show. I don't know why. It's corny. Uh, 
So we just got out of the Little Mermaid thing. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was pretty good. It's the second take, apparently. Uh, we're going to go in and see Kylo Ren and Chewbacca. So here we go. Awesome. I know Alan Paxton, you're upset right now. That's me, that's old school trooper right there. video <laughs> just met Chewbacca lifelong dream I think we're besties now I don't know he, he asked me to the after party and all that stuff so I'm going to Toy Story Mania Okay, so that stuff is awesome. If you're a Star Wars fan, I used to go in here and draw years ago. I loved it, and I was upset when I heard that they took it down. But this is so much better. It's so packed. You can meet Kylo Ren, Chewbacca. Um, that was just awesome. And uh, now it's trying to maneuver our way out of here to go to Toy Story Mania. But I'm in the middle of... This is all the stroller parking. It's madness. But uh, yeah, so here we go. This, I love this ride. This is my favorite ride in the whole thing. I'll do it two, three times if I can. It's just epicness, man, really is. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Look at all this. This is just amazing. It takes you back to your childhood. Now I know some of you guys are watching this, you're going, I don't remember half that stuff. You gotta be old like me and it takes you back and you remember it all and you love it all so here we go all right so here we go 
whoever scores the most is a champion. I win all the time. Get ready for this, okay? It's going to be destruction. Be prepared. You be prepared. The best in the vehicle. Best in the vehicle. And I was losing after round one. Missy was better than him. Don't matter how accurate you are. It matters how you score at the end. Means I'm faster. Means I shoot faster. Means I'm more accurate. Doesn't mean nothing. It means I won best in the cart too. So that means I beat the other two jabronis on the other side too. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Best in the cart. Yeah. Come on, like that's a surprise. I know you usually are too. Thank you, Nintendo. You made me the best. And we got a little rain delay. Started pouring. We came out of Toy Story Mania and it's like coming down. But I did see it was supposed to rain like a little shower, so this might kind of be what it is for now. Oh well, we'll just wait it out. So we're back on the bus. We're going uh, going back to the room. It's raining, as you can see, and um, it's starting to get hot. So we're a little hungry. So we figured we'd go back to the room, grab something to eat, chill out. Um, we could get dinner at five o'clock, which is in, I think, four hours, something like that. So it gives us a chance to go back to the room, get changed because we're wet, um, and, and go about it that way. It's hot. So we are now heading to uh, China, to Nine Dragons for dinner. Then I'm gonna go to Japan, drop some loot, all that good stuff. And then, uh, yeah, it's hot. So, back to the room. Tired, man. Really tired. That was a long trip back. Just so many people. And what felt like, it took like, felt like two hours. And it was about that. It literally, to get back here to the room. Um, so, overall for the day, we're done. We're back to the room. This is going to be it. I think the only thing we might do is maybe stay up till 10 o'clock and watch the fireworks on the balcony. Um, but we didn't even go swimming. I just came home, took a shower because I was like, this is, I was spent, spent. I sweat so bad that literally the inside, I was wearing jeans today because when I went out earlier, it wasn't that bad. And then at the end of the day, I decided to throw jeans on and I was like, ooh, that was a mistake. But I was sweating so bad that like actually I had like blue dye. Oh my <laughs> blue dye on my legs that I had to like scrub off. I've never had to have it before in my life. That was nuts. So um ultimately a good day, you know, like um you know, you'll be able to check out the haul video to see what I picked up in Japan, but I spent a lot of money there. Tomorrow we're supposed to go to Animal Kingdom. Then we're supposed to go to Epcot at night for dinner at Via Napoli. My favorite pizza place in the world, man. Like, bar none. Uh, hands down, the best pizza. I I make Tony book us two nights because I love it so much. And um, the other thing I decided is I am going on a hardcore diet when I get back home because I am hurting for certain. I should not be this winded when I'm when I'm doing stuff. So, good thing came out of it. I get. I guess. I don't know. We'll see. But I no. Ultimately, like. I gotta get in better shape. That's that's for that's for damn sure. That's the one thing I definitely have learned within the first two days of the trip. And I figure with all the walking I'm doing, be a shame to like just waste all that. Cause that's exercise, man. That's all day exercise. So it would be a shame to kind of like throw it away. Um thank you guys for watching part two, day two of this vlog. And uh be sure to tune in tomorrow for day three. And I hope you're enjoying everything that I'm showing you so far. Um, today was eventful. Today was a lot of stuff. It's only going to hopefully get better and more stuff from here. So that is all. See me later.